Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today, I bring you the unboxing, and let me just fix my hair, of the RX 9070, 9070 non-XT. So I had previously the unboxing of the, of the Sapphire Pure RX 9070 XT, and now I have the unboxing of the Asus Stuff 9070 non-XT. And by the way, I want to thank AMD for sending the card, because without them, doing some tests and so on. Well, I would not say it would be impossible, but it would definitely be much, much harder. So thank you, MD, for sending the car, the 9070 Asus Tough. And as you can see, this box is pretty cool. And when you need a box, you can go to the mall. And when you need mall, you have to the sponsor. GVG Mall! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's go to the unboxing, guys. Now, as for the unboxing part, and by the way, sorry about the lighting. I know that we have lots of light there on, the, on that side because uh, I have a window there and I still have to install the blackouts in order to have proper lighting and so on, so on, so on. You know how things go when, you, when you're when you new to the house, let's say. Anyway, this is the AMD Radeon RX 9070, the non-XT version. So we have the XT, the, the one that I showed before with the pure card. And now we have the non-XT version. And I guess I'll actually increase the gain just a bit, just a bit enough. Um, and we now have, instead of the um, Sapphire Pure, we have the Asus Stuff Gaming. And starting from the beginning, I guess, we have the Asus logo. We have a picture of the card. So instead of having the, um, like the mascot, we actually have a picture of the card. And here we just have it saying Tough Gaming Graphics Card and AMD Radeon RX 9070. And here we have the usual things like OC Edition and that it is available to use or uh, that it can use GPU Tweak 3 and it has the Asus Aura SIC and 16 gigabytes as well. So nothing really new here. On the other side or at least on one of the sides. We have the Asus branding again, Tough Gaming graphics card, OC Edition 16 gigabytes GDDR6 and the AMD Radeon RX 9070. Again, nothing new. On the other side, it's basically the same copy paste. And on the back, we have a bit more information. On this side, we have the usual information that we usually have, AMD Radeon RX 9070. Then we have the key features with AMD RDNA 4 architecture, 64 computer units, and this is wrong. Actually, the box is wrong. <laughs> so this is a 9070 non-XT, and um, it actually has the box of, um, of a 9070 XT, which has 64 computer units. This, this card has 56, I believe, so it is wrong. But yeah, <laughs> I'll let AMD know about this. So AMD HyperRx, FX Super Resolution, DisplayPort 2.1. On this side, we have more information of the, um, of the Tough Gaming graphics card cooling. So on this side, we have the graphics specifications. And on this side, the right side, we have the cooling specifications with durability, cooling, uh, reliability and the software and so on, several informations that you may access to just by looking at the box. But well, let's open it. Now, you may not like Asus at all, at least their graphics cards, their motherboards doesn't really matter, but one of the things that I like about some brands is that the packaging is just so neat. If you look at the Sapphire card, it's basically just a normal cardboard box, nothing really fancy because in reality, what really matters is what is inside the box. But I believe as a packaging lover, <laughs> I believe that the packaging also matters. And I do uh, I do have to say that the tough packaging is just much better. Black cardboard, cardboard, not cardboard, cardboard instead of the, um, the, usual, the usual beige one. Then on the sides, on the back, we have some kind of a design to it and it applies kind of a finesse to the um, to the packaging now instead of opening just normally like this like a box we have it opening like this which is again kind of adds a bit more of finesse to the card and here we have it so here's the card let me just see before if we have accessories here because the, the sapphire didn't have 
uh, a great packaging, but at least we have accessories. And it seems that the Asus Stuff Edition not only has better packaging, uh, and it also has the accessories put in a, well, in a nicer way. Yeah, the quick start guide, uh, in, search for, uh, in search of the incredible, then a certificate of reliability for you to know that this is a, an original card, and then the thank you card for purchasing an Asus graphics card. So nothing really outside of the normal here. While with the Sapphire Pure we have worse packaging, on the 1970 XT we actually had a GPU holder Bad or not, it was a GPU holder and we had some cable connections in order to change the RGB effects. But as for the 9070 Tough, this is it. Although the card is again what's really important. And yeah, it looks great. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really like the Tough cards that much because I prefer other color patterns, but this Tough version looks very good. And in terms of weight, it is also kind of lighter than the one that I had before with the 7900 XT and as usual I'm going to show you um, this model, the Tough Gaming 9070 compared to other cards that I have uh, like for example the, um, the Tough Gaming with the 7900 XT and so on. On the front we have the usual three fan design, kind of very circular aggressive fans in order to cool things the proper way. Um, and I believe the fans are also, yes, they are also in opposite ways in order to have better cooling ability. And it's also a nice thing that in the fans, in the, in the circular part of the fans, we have again the motto, get tough, game tough. It's kind of the little details that, that make it better. So, on the side we have a huge Radeon logo, and then the only RGB effects that we have are on the tough on the Tough logo as well. So this is transparent, meaning that we're gonna have RGB effects here. And again, it's two times eight pin connectors instead of having the, the usual three times or only one pin connector as this card consumes around 220 watts. We have the usual two, two eight pin connections, which are the standard four cards like these 220 watts and above. So nothing really much different than we have, well, I, I, I can say that in terms of height, the card is, yeah, it's like 2.5 slots. And in terms of backplate, it also looks quite good. We have the AMD Radeon logo. Then we have saying tough gaming. And we have a cut in the backplate as well in order to have better GPU cooling ability. It is also and always better to have a cut in the backplate on the back part of the GPU die in terms of temperatures. And it's really good to see that AIBs are doing this more and more, leaving the part, uh, the back part of the die open in order to have better cooling ability. ability. I just really like this and sorry, uh, because English is not my first language, as you know, most of you know, and I just woke up some time ago and I, I slept like two hours. I just didn't feel like sleeping, I don't really know why from time to time this happens. We also have a cut here for better airflow as well. We see the fins, the radiator, the fins, and we have a cut for better airflow like I told you before. On the side, it is basically the same. We have a small cut for the airflow and we have again the letter saying tough gaming, which looks quite good actually. On the other side, it's basically what it was or what it is in most cards. We have here the connections for the fans, as you can see here. Then we have the fins for airflow, or in this case for heat dissipation, heat dissipation not for airflow. And on the side, on the back ports, we have one HDMI that doesn't really have a cover, I don't really know why, but we have one HDMI port and three display ports. So again, kind of standard, but I wish that we could have something like a USB-C port. Um, because that would be great. Some older cards do have it, like my RX 6800, and I believe that the, the RX 7900 XT X f from AMD also has it. So, yeah, but still, one HDMI and three DisplayPort connections. And as for, again, eight pin part connections, like I told you, and we also have this, I failed to mention this, that we have here the dual BIOS as well, performance, and quiet mode and you can switch in between these biases just by kind of flicking the switch here. So again, it just works. In terms of quality, yeah, even the backplate, I, I believe that you can hear that it's quite sturdy, the card is not that heavy and the quality is there, the build quality is there and overall it just looks great. If you ask me, yeah, it just looks great. Now this is the previous tough card and again, it is still very cool and 
<laughs> and believe me or not, this car just performs great generally. This is the 7900 XT, and as you can see, it is even more massive than the 9070, than the normal 9070. And of course, it needs to be because the power consumption is entirely different. But there are several different things. If I put those cards here side by side, for example, you can see that in terms of thickness, the 7900 XT is quite thicker and it is also slightly longer. Also in terms of the RGB, the RGB is positioned differently. I believe that we have RGB here with this card, not on the logo, while on the 9070 we have RGB on the logo. And again, uh, the thickness, the length are different. The, the size of the Radeon logo is also different. We have a bigger Radeon logo on the 97, on the 9070, sorry. And in terms of the front, things also changed. While the, the, the 7900 XT is basically just tones, different tones of gray. The 9070 non-XT brings uh, gray, of course, the usual gray brushed metal gray, and then the silver tones that we have. And if you look at the fans, they're also different. Kind of the curvature is way more aggressive, while this ones are considerably less aggressive with, with way less... Um, how, how should I call these things? Again, English is not my main language. Kind of these parts of the fans, they, they do have less, the 7900 XT does have less of them. Uh, but yeah, the fan in the middle is still spinning in the opposite di direction in order to bring better airflow. But yeah, it is what it is. Things changed, more aggressive fans and a smaller card overall, at least for this model of the 9070, which I believe is the same as the 9070 XT. And to be honest, this new generation has better cooling, so comparing it to the Nitro of the, previous, of the previous generation should be better. And in fact, if you compare, for example, the Sapphire Nitro to the Asus stuff, the newest model, their length and their height is basically the same. The thickness and the length is basically the same. And, and yeah, even the curvature of the fans, as you can see, the Nitro model has an even more aggressive uh, fan curvature with all these kind of rough edges while the Tough also has some slightly more aggressive than the previous Tough model. So the 9070 Tough model is smaller, slimmer, and it should deliver better temperatures. But well, let's see how this little beast looks on the PC. And well guys, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Videos, uh, more videos on the 9070 non-XT will come. I will do the overclocking tutorial as well. I'll do some more videos too uh, on the performance. I'll also test this card against as well the, the 6950 XT because I believe there are people that are running these cards like the 6800, 6950 XT and they want to know if if it is actually worth to upgrade from their cards to this one, the 9070 XT. And that's exactly why I want to, to put in those cards. I still have to test them. I did not test yet the 6800 and, um, well, I believe that I tested the 6800, but not the 6950 XT, so I have to retest that card. But then I will be testing it against the 9070 non-XT. So wait for that, well, or stay tuned for that because more tests and more videos will come. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. And by the way, leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if you really like the new Tough design or not. I personally like it better than the previous one. I like the fans more. I believe that it looks better with a kind of minimalistic RGB design, but instead of having just the brushed metal color, we have brushed metal plus silver and the tones really mix up well and it looks like a beautiful card. It just looks great and performs great in terms of temperatures as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.